<sighs> Great to be back here in the Kingdom of Townstead. The only place where Liz and I belong. Too bad that Liz can't be with me today. Would have been nice if we could have gone out for a picnic or maybe take a vacation together. Oh well, when school calls, all students must attend. Still, I wonder what Liz is up to. Lana, Beatrice! Good morning, how was virus theory? Ugh, pretty boring if you ask me. The stupid antivirus wouldn't shut up about firewalls and updating your virus definitions. I mean, yeah, sure, we learn about a new virus today, but the end is always the same. Update your antivirus, check if you're using the latest operating system, and on and on and on. Ugh! Come on, Beatrice, lighten up. At least we get to go on another field trip tomorrow. Wait, we're going on a field trip tomorrow? I wasn't aware about any of this. Still, though, I'm curious. Where are we going? Why, where else do computer users go to grab their information from? The Internet! <laughs> the Internet is really Lance, you bastard! How many fucking times did I tell you to get back to work? So, uh, what's the internet? <gasps> Maya, Beatrice, Mimi! I'm surprised at you! You don't have any idea what the internet is? The internet is a vast network that connects computers all over the world. Through the internet, people can share information and communicate from anywhere with an internet connection. Thank you, Liz! So, who's excited to visit the internet tomorrow? Well, I'm curious to see what's out there. Count me in! Mm, I don't know about you, but I hear the internet can also be a bit dangerous. True, but as long as we stick together, nothing bad will ever happen, I promise. Great! So I guess I'll see you girls tomorrow then? Yup, see you tomorrow. <sighs> it's great to finally be back in the dorms. And now to check on some emails I've missed. Spam, drug spam, phishing spam, jeez, so much spam in my emails today. Huh? What's this? It says, I love you. Is this a love letter? For me? But who's the sender? <gasps> my antivirus! <laughs> <laughs> Did I just pass out? Ugh, my head. Why do I feel so weird? For some strange reason, I feel like writing a love letter. <laughs> when arrows meet, you're getting shot by Cupid's arrow through the heart, making you destined to be with someone. The other arrow goes to your soulmate, so when arrows meet, true love lasts forever. Yours truly, Liz Elizabeth Rose. Hi, girls. Good morning, Liz. You're looking happy today. Whoa! Liz Elizabeth, what's up with you? Why are you all dressed up? I just had the most beautiful dream. 
I was on a bed with my fiance all night long, giving him kisses and cuddling him like a teddy bear, and oh, it was just so romantic. I just wish it was real. That's weird. Liz, th this is the first time you ever told us about your dreams, and that's, mm, that, that's not normal. What do you know about love? Nothing! <laughs> hey, Liz, calm down. If it makes you feel any better, your fiancé is right behind you. This stranger, he's so adorable, but he's not a stranger at all. Hi, my prince. Uh, how are you today? Nice having your weather, huh? <laughs> Hello, my lady. Is everything okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, everything is peachy perfect. Hey, listen, I have something I want to give you. With leaves, we're already in love. I know, silly. I just want to hug you and kiss you and squeeze you and call you George. Willies, I really do appreciate your honesty, but I think you're getting us mixed up with another character. Alright, Liz, that's enough flirting with your fiancé for one day. Let's get going, or else we're gonna be late. <laughs> we're really sorry this had to happen. We'll watch over her, I promise. Minister Norton, Minister Norton, we have an emergency. Calm down, Mr. Boys, and tell me what happened. <laughs> Dear Vindok! What is it, Minister? Is it something I should worry about? Hurry, Mr. Void! Follow me! Why are you familiar with this piece of malicious code? No, Minister. Not really. Mr. Void, your fiancé has just been infected by the infamous love letter worm. It is a worm that infected over tens of millions of Windows personal computers after the 5th of May 2000. It attaches itself as an email message leading to unwitting users thinking that it operates as a normal text file. Opening the attachment activates the script. First, the worm copies itself onto all addresses used by Microsoft Outbox, allowing it to spread much faster than any other email worm. Now luckily for you, Mr. Void, we do have some surveillance footage to share with you regarding this worm. However, do be warned, it may be disturbing for you to watch. Then, it inflicts damage on the local machine, overriding system files causing corruption onto the system, vis-a-vis -vis the blue screen of death. So let me get this straight. You're saying that if Liz got infected with the love letter worm? If the love letter worm remains in her system, that means... Yes, Mr. Vard. Liz will die. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is known as the Internet. It is a global system of interconnected networks that uses the Internet Protocol Suite in order to communicate between networks and devices. It is a network of multiple networks that consists of private, public, academic, business, and government networks on a local global scope, linked by a broadband array of electronic, wireless, and optical technologies. The internet carries a vast range of information, resources, and services such as interlinked hypertext documents, and applications of the World Wide Web, electronic mail, telephony, and file sharing. I wonder if I can use the internet to search for my husband-to-be. Maybe I can even go as far as doxing him. <laughs> doxing? Liz Elizabeth, have you lost your mind? You're sick, Liz Elizabeth. The Liz we know would never say things like that. I think you're becoming too obsessed with your fiancé. Liz, we are very worried about you. We're taking you into quarantine. It's for your own good. Go to hell, Lana, and screw you too, Beatrice! I don't need any of you. You can go back home for all I care. I have a prince to flirt with. Liz Elizabeth, you don't mean that. You just can't! Let's go, Lana. Liz is not feeling well. We should just contact the antivirus and have him take care of her. Please don't sneak up on me like that. Um, my prince? Are you okay? Say something, please! Wait a minute, you're not my prince! You're a clone! <laughs> Lana! Beatrice! Help! I'm being kidnapped by a clone! Help! Love Lady Wayne, you will not take my fiancé away from me! Our hero can save Liz before she starts hurting herself. He will, Lana. I'm I'm sure he will. Get in there, you freak. Away from my fiance. <gasps> my dreams have finally come true. My prince is finally here. I cannot wait to have him as my own. Please, run for your life. This worm is trying to kill you. <laughs> Fair. I just wanted to love him.
My prince? Uh -huh. What uh, What are you doing here? You are in quarantine, my dear. I had to take you into custody so I can disinfect you from your recent virus infection. I was infected? Oh god, please tell me Lana and Beatrice are okay. They're fine. They're both waiting outside of quarantine. And what about the love letter, Worm? No need to worry, Your Highness. The worm has been deleted. And what about us? I'm so sorry for what happened back there. The love letter worm infected me. It was so frightening. It's okay, Liz. Your antivirus told us everything! Yeah, it would be a disservice to our friendship not to forgive you. Now come here! Oh, my prince, thank you so much. You are most welcome, Your Highness. And so, with the love letter worm finally destroyed, peace has finally returned to the computer world, and with the virus gone, the bond among the three princesses is now more stronger than ever. Will our heroes ever be at peace again, or was the love letter worm just a taste of what's to come for our heroes? Don't miss the next episode of Axe Rangers S.